So far we've been talking about how to generate random synthesis problems, but your instructor will also assign you several specific non-random problems. To access these, just go to the same synthesis problem setup box, but instead of selecting generate random problem in the synthesis problem list, select one of the specific problems listed. When you select one of these problems, note how it selects the chapters and steps for you, because these are not random problems. They have been pre-constructed and specifically approved by your instructor as an important and relevant material. Otherwise though, just click on Generate Problem and the setup is exactly the same. You still have a target product to make, but this time it is not a random product. Every student who works on this problem will get the same target product to work on. You can still get a hint for free, but now the solution for the assigned problems are locked until you've actually solved them. You're likely to find that many of these assigned problems are actually pretty difficult, but don't feel bad about it. They are specifically designed to be challenging, so just keep on trying. An important point to note is that with every problem in the system, you have unlimited tries to solve the problem. There is no time limit to solve the problem other than the assignment due dates, and there is no penalty for guessing, so just go wild. Feel free to experiment with the problems without worry, because you can never do anything wrong in the system. As an extra hint for solving these assigned problems, take a look at the problem description as it includes references to chapter sections from the textbook. These refer to the last chapter section you need to understand in order to solve the problem. This also means that if you just read that section of the textbook, it's probably a huge hint towards solving the problem. There are many non-random problems to choose from, but when you select which class you're in, the list will be filtered down to just those assigned by your instructor. However, you're still free to work on the other non-random problems, and they will still count towards your total problems completed and would be very good practice.